Well, you may remember Jen's Kitty Rehab as the rescue that helped save the kitten from the Midland Avenue Bridge in Fort Smith. Well, the nonprofit is looking for families for some adoptable cats. Live News reporter Veronica Ortega has more in this week's Adopt a Pet segment. One year old Winnie was surrendered by her owner along with her three kittens to Jen's Kitty Rehab. She's really sweet. As you can see, she loves to be petted. She likes to sit on laps and take naps, so she is a lap cat. Winnie is now spayed and looking for her forever home. Potential adopters should know she's good with kids and other cats, but has not been tested with dogs. If you're going to introduce her into a home with multiple cats, it's probably going to take a little bit of time. Construction of the physical shelter was put on hold again thanks to the coronavirus. The rescue asking for your help to make this cat paradise a reality. We are trying to get this building finished. We are working on the parking lot right now. We are very happily accepting home improvement store gift cards, so that's that's a biggie. This glorious ball of fluff is Deacon. At three and a half months old, he's the last of Winnie's babies. He's the sweetest kitten I think I've ever seen in my life. He likes to be held on his back and he likes belly rubs and he has a catnip carrot that he really likes to roll around with. Deacon is being fostered in a home with other cats. Both are well rounded and ready for the next step in life. They're just really great cats. They just need somebody to love them forever. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Veronica Ortega, 5 News. And if you're interested in adopting Winnie or Deacon from Jen's Kitty Rehab, we have links over on our website, 5newsonline.com.